This is not a public road. This is private property. Get the truck off my property now. Hey, buddy. We're already in the process of more cameras coming out here, so. George, one of the things I did when I was home in Ohio okay. is I got brand new chain for the cell tower access gate. And I know you've been dying to see the fence. Not only are you gonna get to see the fence today, you're gonna get to talk to the cell phone tower manager. Just rolling out of bed, like literally just rolling out of bed. YouTube is late, late nights and then early mornings as well. And I got a call early this morning from Chris. He is the site manager. He is the man in charge of the cell tower that leases the property here in Florida. He and I have talked on the phone already. This man has story after story after story of the hardships and the headaches that they have do they endured, really endured with the locals and the neighborhood here. Before we meet Chris, the OS, OSL, uh, you know, he's in charge of the whole <laughs> cell tower. Before we meet him, we got a couple things we have to do first. Now, number one, uh, you got the drill, George? I got the drill, Jeremy. Okay, so we've got to get one of the most important things ever here. This is a sign that was gifted to us. Let's take it out came there. came all the way from Ohio. This is an Ohio sign from a storage unit. Right there, it says drive through. This has got to go up on the front of the actual fencing area because the locals, the neighbors, are still parking and we want them to be reminded drive through, no parking, drive through. So this has got to go up on the fence. Before we get to the other side, we got to take care of our main actual gate first. Now, we got this piece of property with these gates, they drag. The pain. We can't even get a round turn radius with the trailer to actually get into the actual gated area. All of this is eventually going to come out. The gate's going to move further back. One of the biggest pains, nobody wants to work. I try and contract different people to put in a, to put in a fence and they, they don't show up. So what I'm trying to do now is to get Willis over at What You Doing Willis to actually put that gate in for us. Look at this. We've got, we've got a lock there holding on extra chain, a uh, lock there holding on extra chain, a lock there, that's actually the utility company. You know, this is just too much, getting out every single time, every day in a storm. So we got new chain, and yes, the chain hang low, and it wobbled to and fro. So our goal now is to actually cut down on some of that weight and some of the nonsense of all of that extra chain boom we'll call the utility company we'll let them come and get their lock off of here they'll slap their lock on there a million times easier george you ready to go see the fence i've been dying to see what the fence looks like i haven't seen it all since i've been back in florida well, you're gonna get to see it all now here's the fence it that four good. season looks fence put in okay i wasn't even here when they put this in only substitute george was if you look all the way up there substitute george you see you see the posting over there mm -hmm. so this all went in in your opinion substitute george how'd the guys do amazing they did an amazing job now if we just look at this if we go down here this is this is mind-boggling to me we go from a fight over a fence to i don't want a fence and you leave this fence and now we with the neighbors on the north end we have two fences. So you've got our fence here, and then you got a six foot privacy fence right there. But if you turn around, it didn't even go all the way up front. It's interesting. It's, I wonder why they didn't go all the way through. Why, why, not, why not go, go all, the way all the way up front? I do have a suspicion. Let's go check it out. This was, this was our plumb line. I'm gonna clean this up while we keep moving our way back. We're getting closer. Was this the line that uh, this What You Doing Willis put up? Uh, this this is the yes. line that What You Doing Willis put okay. up. Okay. And then what the fencing crew used to actually get the fence up. Now this is why I think the privacy fence only goes so far. <laughs> uh, if we look down here, if we look down, we have this beautiful sculpted 
piece of art, that whole thing, that everybody, I mean, literally everybody loves to get a selfie with. George, are I you mean, ready? Who wouldn't? We should get a, a selfie, selfie right now in three, two, one. This is where the back post comes. Now, here's the property line, sub George, right here. Here is the property line right here. You can see we're six inches off. Now, if you just pan over there, we were probably eight, maybe even more feet off earlier with the encroachment. A lot of people go, what's the big deal, Jeremy? You donate a lot of money. You give a lot of things away to a lot of people. You should have given the land. No, that's not the way it works. It does not work that way at all. It costs money, and I already paid a ton of money to correct the issues that should have been corrected in the first place. Not only that, we're running a business. This is a residential property, this is a residential home, but we have a tremendous amount of liability, and a lot of the future plans is only going to increase that liability. For example, this beautiful old pig pen could become a Cuban crock pen just like that. Interesting though, the privacy fence ends right here. So you could still see. I don't think that keep a gator out. <laughs> I don't think that, if it ends right there, I don't think that keep a gator out. Uh, I don't understand. So you can still see that stuff. You know, what I like best is you see the couch over there. The couch in the middle of the backyard. The random couch. Yeah, can, can you see it, Sub George? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's it's kinda right like that. beyond the tree. That must be. You know what, that's inspiration. That must be a Florida thing. Brian inspired me once with the cactus <laughs> he has now inspired me again i'm gonna build something great to sit on in the middle of our backyard chain and lock is on we got our key to unlock it i'm gonna unlock it so that jeremy can pull in Look at all these beautiful signs warning 24 hour surveillance. Chris, our actual site, our I don't know, OS, OSL, whatever it is for the tower, he came out. You're going to meet him in just a moment and he put these signs up. You got one over there too, don't you? I do. This one says, kind of hard to read upside down, okay. don't you think? It says, um, please keep gate closed at all times. Thank you. And this is an American Tower sign. I know we can't read, but you think the The, the gate is will... open right now. <laughs> we better hurry. Our main area of concern right now is actually right up here, right up front. So if you come on up here with me, every time we come by here, there's something illegally parked here on the property. So before it was all within the fenced area and encroaching, now it's all in this area. So Chris went ahead he put our no parking violators will be towed, but we gotta we gotta put another reminder in there. We gotta put drive through, no parking, you know, so they keep going. You just gotta keep going, <laughs> moving. Do not park here. We're gonna start pulling anything and everything. So we're gonna just for the drive through sign, George, go ahead and grab that. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move this sign down one post. We're gonna come over here. And we're just gonna go ahead and set it right in here. Okay, there we go there. Straighten it out, how's that look? Is that straight? Um, yep, good. straight. We're good, okay. So we're good there. We're good okay. there, and then once we get this moved. How's it look, Sub Geo? Looks straight. good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now we can set up the drive-through sign. We're just gonna drill right into the sign, like so. Okay, now is it straight? George is holding the other side. Okay. It's pretty and... straight. Okay, not bad. I'm kind of liking it. It looks good. Kind of liking it a lot. The the sign matches Jeremy's top. You, you guys match. The sign in your top. Me and the sign? Yeah. Do you think this will be a good reminder to Otter Creek residents to keep on moving? That this is not public parking? 
It's hard to understand you with your with the drills in the teeth, your snaggles. Uh, can you understand me better or <laughs> or Floridians? Who do you understand better? I don't know. I understand them all right. <laughs> see? See? Let's see. Let's get another one in here. Okay. Just a reminder. Keep on driving through. This is not a place for you to park. It's up. What do you think? I see some familiar markers yeah. from when yeah. the surveyors were here. So surveyor marker lines right there. That is the original corner that post. That is the original post. That Mr. And I Clark think Mr. Put Clark's in. part yep. of his sign is he still did. up there. Now there's still stuff I need to clean up. Like this old post was pulled out. It's got barbed wire. But if you look straight down the line, straight down the line, I mean, everything now is cleaned up and this whole area everything in here was turned into a dump there is absolutely no doubt in my mind we have the perfect piece of property here in otter creek florida but even the perfect piece of property can be spoiled by the imperfect neighbors and boy do i have a doozy of them i'm headed over to confront them now they've got stuff all over my property. There have been bombs going off in the middle of the night. Let's go talk to them. This is not a public road. This is private property. Get the truck off my property now. I'm gonna back up. I want the truck off my property. Okay. All right? Yeah. Don't come on my property again. I don't want you on my property. And I don't want you blocking this public road either. Do you understand? Okay. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property? Yeah, I, I park there all the time. Don't ever park there again. Why are you parking there? I, I needed to get to the backyard. For? For some tools and things like that. Whose yard is it? My Susie. You don't go through my property to get to Susie's backyard. I understand. All right. I don't ever want to see you there again. If I see you there again, I'm going to tow your truck out. All right? Do not block this road. So here's what's really happening. Drugs are happening here on my road. That's what's really happening. And they're using the access road that the tower company has leased to access the drugs. Here's just a glance of my property. This road being, jeez. Oh, this road being leased by the cell tower company. You can see the garbage just everywhere, everywhere. This is just absolutely insane. This is beyond hoarding. This is my property. This is my property. This is my property. This is insane. No. If I find any more vehicles parked on here, this is not her driveway. This is not her access at all she this doesn't rent this the, um, she doesn't lease this no this is the um this is my property this is my this property is road. It's this is my property okay the tower leases it from me okay anything on this road is going to be hauled off i want the garbage off immediately i want the garbage off of my property immediately well, honey i just you're going to relay the message yes. you're going to relay the message yeah. i want the garbage off of my property immediately a survey team is coming through a fence is going up I don't want any more vehicles parked here. If this road is blocked, I'm gonna tow everything. I want this moved immediately so that the tower this has access. Her, her, this this is, is not on her property. This is not her property. This, this is my property. Right here is her property. Ma'am, it will. The survey team well, is coming through. when the through. survey comes, then I think you should This, to I want it out of when, my property. Well, when, when the survey so comes. So I wanna be very clear. Look, I'm gonna get her son over here. That's what I'm I I'm going there next. Well, I'm, he's at so work, but I will call him I'm right going. Now. I'm going to him next. So I want to be very clear. I want nothing on my property. 
There are fences going up around the property. Okay, but you don't even know the property line either. I do know the property. I didn't buy a piece of property without knowing the property well, lines. Okay, then maybe. Then the fences are going up. Well, you can't I don't want her to move anything. anything until she knows. I absolutely can. It's on my property. <laughs> How do you know I don't that? want anything on my property Look, I'm not gonna argue. whatsoever. I'm not gonna call Michael. One more thing. There will be cameras all over Those my property. Are already already here there's going to be cameras all over my property my i don't want any trespassing on my property oh. um let me just call my i've got I'm some not, fancy i've got some chain I, I fancy I i'll, I'll take care of it all you you're me? not the property owner i understand no, yes. you're relaying oh it God, to her let me just let this is unacceptable <laughs> i'm not going to put up with it this is this is a mess my property isn't her public dump okay i will talk to michael later and you clarify, if there's another vehicle here, it's being towed at her expense. If there's a vehicle here in the road blocking Michael? when I try and get through, I'm towing hey, it. Hey, there's a guy here named Jeremy who's buy, who bought property. Um, I'll talk to him tomorrow. Uh, he's buying he, Lois's he's telling property me I gotta get too. This, everything. Yeah. I can't yeah. move this wood Well, I look forward to this because I was going to have it surveyed. I just got here last night. I'll take night. care of it. Okay, and I do have I some chain link fence. So your your fellow who's been working on it, I mean, this road, every day I go down this road, hey, this road is blocked. I did not even know that guy was in my house. You didn't know that guy was in your house? Here, I'm let you ask him. What, he said, what is the property line? I'm he can talk to, to me later. I'm getting right into So this that. guy was squatting in your house, working He's on it? He's not really squatting. It's kind of an agreement between him and Susie. He said he do some work for her, and, and she her. said he is staying in my house. I've got to get so it off. So he's been now. he's been pulling he's been pulling electric lines from Susie's house over here, blocking the road. Now he's been on a generator the past couple nights. My they equipment. Cut, Susie cut his electric uh, off. Yeah, we, Her we electric. pulled the electric. They pulled that from him no because now they've gotten into an argument between the two of them, and I'm in the, sitting in the middle of it. And I just got here. That's why I came down here. Because of the argument. Yeah, and I find out that that house is packed full of junk. They've got a wood burner hanging out the window. It'll be straightened up on right. my end. It okay. will definitely be straightened up. I'm all for you. All right, I appreciate it. Uh, the goal is to clean the whole road up. Clean the town up. Clean the road up. So get on board with me. Let's clean it up because this is unacceptable. This is not a way to live. I am on board. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go check out the house real quick. What do you think? It's kind of close. The, the house is off of the property. Now, that's not going to be towards the, the county guidelines, but mm -hmm. we don't care about county guidelines. All we care is about respect for our own property. So the house is off. Even the overhang is off. The fence is here. And then they went and put a double fence up. So we've got another neighbor on the south end putting a double fence up as well. Uh, you know what we should do? You know what we should do, George? It's just, it's mind blowing right now because if you look at where the fence line is, all the way where, where Ramsey's is parked, all of this was just filled with yard ornaments and scraps and you name it. Huge difference. Let's meet Chris from American Tower and see what he has to say about it. Hey, buddy. Sorry, I haven't showered or anything yet. <laughs> so we got we got the fence up, we got the gate up. You tell me, better? A lot better. A lot, lot better. What Hi, Chris. Uh, George. This is George. You've probably seen George. So, Chris, what it used to be like before all of this? Swampy. Okay, so it was a swamp. <laughs> yeah. It's a good word. Uh, just a cluster right in this area. Oh, right up here? Yeah. So like literally right once, up here. Once you we get back up. into the site, it's yeah. been fine. So all of this. So you can see we got we got the fence up over here. Yep. So they even they even cut the house back because the house was encroaching on the property. Right. So the house was cut back, the cement pad was cut back, we got the fence line up. They actually put up a fence line as well you can see there with the with the aluminum siding so we've got that all the way back we've got the the gate up here I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this sign down that I put here right. which has already been damaged and I'm gonna they're they're already started you know you give an inch and they take a mile so they've been now putting garbage on the outside of the fence and parking on the outside of the fence so I'm gonna throw that sign off the pole I'm gonna throw that out there is there is there other things that you guys need to do as well? Um, I'm gonna move this sign to the gate. 
Okay, this one and here. And I'm going to throw up a keep gate closed yeah. sign. And also one of my camera signs, since you've got cameras up out here. So I had two cameras right there. All right. All right, so they broke. Kenny Jr. broke one of the cameras. And then he got a local juvenile to come over here and break another camera. So um, because a juvenile is involved, we've decided not to pursue things because of the juvenile involvement. If right. we pursue one thing, then we have to pursue both things. So we'll get Kenny Jr. on something else. So just a heads up, they did break two cameras right there. Right. And, um, but there'll be more opportunities to get them for other things. So the text, now they can get in, they have right. complete and total access. What do you need, what do you need from us as landowners? We brought chains. Yeah, we got a chain to put on the to right. put on the I, gate. No, I got a chain to throw on the gate. Oh, I got my okay. lock, and if you got a lock, yeah, we'll just throw the, a lock uh, on there too. The power company will wind up coming out when they come to read the meters. Yeah, they're not electronic, and they'll call my knock, get my combo, open the gate, and then put one of their special locks on. Yeah, it. yeah, one of the kind of round ones. And the the techs, the carriers, they'll probably put their locks on the gate, so yep. we'll have a bunch of locks daisy chained. Okay. So be like so, boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, so boom. The, the, the biggest okay. issue is keeping them in the daisy chain and not locking one another out. Sure, sure. Uh, other than that, yeah. I mean, other than that, it's a piece of cake. Now you can get in. No more problems. You have complete and total access. Now, a lot of people in the local area, they think this is an actual public road. Mm -hmm. So do you can, can you clarify? No, this is access to, to American Tower's cell tower. So this Here is private property. Right. American Tower leases they have a they have a contracted lease to utilize the property for the cell tower right. and part of that lease you guys put in an access road right you guys maintain the access road right. and there are only two people in the world maybe three that have rights and privileges to that number one is American Tower right. number two is the landowner myself right. and then you've got the electric company right. any text that you guys send carriers. out yeah, any of your carriers, any of the techs, they have they have access. This is not public property nor public road. Nobody can just jump on this road without um, probably getting shot. In all reality, for trespassing. Right. So, um, other things we need to know. What do we need to know about it? Do you guys come in? Uh, you guys come in and mow once a year. They'll come in and mow the access road. Actually, I think they're on a three month cut okay. basis. And uh, they'll come in and mow the access road, uh, mow my anchor points, and sometimes I'll have them come in and cut limbs out of the access road sure. that, that are hanging in because fuel trucks need to get back here and fuel up the generators. Yeah, you don't want those to fall. Uh, and that's about it. Do they? I mean, they'll mow, they'll spray my compound and whatnot to keep the weeds down. Yep. Uh, and, and they'll mow this area just a little bit wider than the access road. Do they come in, do they grade? Do they take care of uh, the potholes? Uh, our roads are based on four wheel drives. We all have four wheel drives and the carriers know it's four wheel drive access. And if you don't have four wheel drive, you're, you're stuck. You don't drive, <laughs> don't drive. Yeah, it's, it's not a party ground back there and it's, it's not maintained that way. Unfortunately, they, uh, locals were using it that way, drinking back there and shooting and all kinds of things like that. We're already in the process of more cameras coming out here, so. So, with the tower there, it's really nice that we got the tower. So then we can get boosters and everything for our Wi-Fi. What's the chances, we got fiber optic running right here, right? right? What are the chances of me getting fiber optic to the house? You gotta call them up. I've been trying and I can't get anybody to return anything I want fiber optics straight to the house. No, I, I mean, for me, it's just name a price. Right. And, and I, to, I can't even get anybody to return a call. There should be a number right on one of these poles. This is AT&T. Yep, yep. Uh, you probably have a couple other suppliers out this way, and they'll run it down the, uh, the roads yep. and run it to your house. So we, we have fiber optic on the property. It's whether they will actually this run actually it. This actually belongs to the carrier. Oh, so that's not that's not American Tower. No, that that, that is AT and T. The carrier will bring in their fiber from 
the D mark out here at the road yep, it's marked. to the tower through our easement and they're allowed to do that. So we've got fiber optic on the property. It's just trying to figure out who will work with us to get it to the house. Okay. Interesting. If you if you have it down, I don't know where your house is out it's, here. It's it's back. It's seventy it's, acres all the way back in there. Okay. Way you back just, in there. We're just gonna have to get AT and T to come out and look at it and see what it's gonna take yeah. to get fiber in the area. Yeah. I can't even get them to return a call yet. Like, just give me a give me a quote. You call a customer service rep, and these customer service reps have no idea how to even handle your your question. And it's like, well, you know, I'll get back to you. Well, that they have no idea. A random person calls and says, "Hey, I want fiber optic, but your area doesn't supply it." And I go, "But it's on it's on my land. What is it going to cost to pull it from here to here to here?" And they they can't even begin to you know wrap their mind around that question or an answer. I mean, that's not their field of expertise. And they don't know how to direct me to the right person to actually answer it either. That's the challenge I keep having. You get it in roadblocks with even trying to find the right person to even contact and call. You just got to wear the phones out. Just wear them out, wear them out, wear them out. It's so rural out here that if you're looking to pull it down the road that way and it's not there, you're going to pull teeth. Unless you have multiple carriers looking to pull it. Maybe we're going to have to pull teeth because nobody out here wants to pull the, the fiber optic. And frankly, out here, we're the only ones that rely on it. It's part of our business structure. It's part of what we do. we got to have the fastest high speed there is. It's one of the reasons why we bought the property is because of the cell towers. One of the only areas, big blocks of property that we looked at in this rural community that actually we had internet is because of the tower. That's one of the big factors. It's a hot tower. <laughs> Lots of controversy <laughs> around it. Yeah. But it did open it up. Well, you, all of this is all gone now. I mean, there's a, there's, I still got to come in here and clean up. Like, they got some pile of garbages here and there, but it was, I mean, it's all the way open, all the way to the back. There's still going to be a little bit of junk here and there. I just got to come out here and finish touch it. So, as the, so your official title is? OSO, on-site lead. All right, as the on-site lead. Happy? Am I happy? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have no issues with this. Beautiful. That's all we can ask. Everybody's happy. So, in comparison to the last time, a thousand times better? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Much, much better. Now, when was the last time they shot at the tower? I have no clue. I don't know if anybody's shooting at actually shooting at Yeah, the, the tech told us that last time. They've been shooting them out, shooting the bulbs out. Right. I know we upgraded our systems uh, due to the bird rolls and whatnot, and actually LED's cheaper to run. Yeah. So we're updating, upgrading all our towers to LED just because it saves the company money. Oh, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Less maintenance. Finally, following the rules of the sign, making sure the gate He's closed at all times. You're welcome. Here we go. This is what you're supposed to do when you're coming down Otter Creek. You just keep driving. Don't park in the middle of the road because it's narrow. It looks good there, Jeremy. 